Hi and welcome to today's session on reciprocal graphs. So a reciprocal graph is a graph created from a fraction where we've got a number as our numerator, as our number on top of the fraction, and we've got an x as our denominator at the bottom of our fraction. Now the x is the variable that we change each time uh, that we put an input in to try and calculate what y is going to be. So these graphs can be in the form of a positive number or a negative number as our numerators. When we've got a positive number, so a number larger than zero, we end up with, uh, with curves in our first quadrant and in our third quadrant. If we've got a negative number, so a number less than zero, we end up with a curve which is in the second quadrant and the fourth quadrant. So we can actually create one of these graphs, a reciprocal graph, using a table of values, the exact same way as what we do when we are doing line graphs or doing quadratic graphs or cubic graphs. So here's our equation, y equals 1 over x, where what x does not equal 0. So here's our table of values with x values ranging from minus 4 up to 4. Well, I've also included minus a half and a half in there as well. That's because the closer it comes, uh, comes to this, the more defined curve it's going to allow me to get once I plot this. So replacing x into my equation, substituting this in, I get uh, for minus 4, I get y equals 1 over minus 4, so a negative quarter, and so on and so forth going up. And then I use my x and y coordinates to actually plot on my graph. And this is what, uh, what's created. Now, once I've got all my points plotted, I will draw, using freehand, draw a line going straight away through, curving through all of my points, and coming out the other side. Now, as you can see, the our line, uh, line here gets closer and closer to, um, to our y-axis and our x-axis, but it doesn't actually touch these. And something which, uh, which you may have noticed as well is that we've got two lines of symmetry here as well. We've got, if we was to fold this in half from corner to corner, it would match. And the same as if we folded it through the opposite corners, it would match as well. And this is actually a trait of a reciprocal graph. If you like what you see, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.